What if you could eliminate problems before they ever happened? What that would mean is you'd have less conflict in your life. Your life would be more enjoyable. But the question is, is can we really do it? And I suggest that the answer to that question is yes. We can improve our communication. And if we're successful in improving that communication, it's going to eliminate many of the problems that we now experience. And the simplest way to start is just to set ground rules up front. Setting ground rules is critical for problem avoidance. Because people don't understand, if they don't understand the rules, they're going to argue about those rules. Now, I look at my two children. They play a board game. Neither one of them truly understands the rule of the game. I know how that's going to end. It's going to end in an argument because it always does. But the reality is if you set those ground rules up front, the probability of that argument diminishes significantly. And so if you're able to do this with, with work this concept into your relationships, they're all going to benefit. Think about a business partnership. If you simply set up a partnership agreement up front, you would avoid the problems. You, provi you provide means to a resolution in the event that there were problems that came up. And what's, what's important about that is it forces the parties to think through solutions well in advance. When I coach managers, I always tell them to sit with their new employees and set those expectations up front. Because the benefits are, are, are great. Number one, you're giving that employee direction when they really need it. There's nothing more frustrating for a new employee than not knowing what to do. And providing that direction is significant. On top of that, you instill good habits. You create good values. And, and so what I would suggest to managers is be a little bit strict immediately. Even micromanage your people for that first month. Because we know it takes 22 days to create the habit, and over the course of the month, we're going to get them to where we want them to be. And so the key here is this, is that you can always get more lenient down the road, but you can't go the other way. If you've had an employee that's been in place for six months, five years, ten years, and now you're trying to change what they're doing every day, good luck. Okay? People are resistant to change. But if you mold them from the very beginning, they're going to be far more effective. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. And so once you're able to mold those habits and you spend that month really focusing on the management of those people, then you can back off. Because now the habit's been created and it's on autopilot. So the next time you hire a new employee or you form a partnership, just establish ground rules so everybody is clear on the expectations. And why not simply eliminate those problems before they happen? Have a great week.